One of the most iconic parts of Detroit's skyline has been missing for months, but today, some good news. We saw the first step in lighting up the Penobscot building once again. I went to the top, or at least 45 stories up, and watched as one local businessman climbed all the way up, volunteering to turn the power back on. The Penobscot building has been a part of Detroit's skyline for the last century, but it's most famous for the way it looks at night. The blinking red bulb that became iconic has been off, out of service for months. But that is changing. I saw a story on my Facebook and my girlfriend had commented that I uh, spent too much time on there and it actually led me to come out here. Todd Farnham is the president and CEO of Greenlight Detroit. He's also one gutsy human being. I started working with Todd, you know, about a month ago and he kept saying that we're going to do the ball at the top of the Penobscot building. And I get up here, we climb all the stairs and get out and I, I look out to the city of Detroit and I'm like, this is high. What kind of guy wants to climb up to the top of a building to put light bulbs in? I would imagine it'd be somebody that grew up close to the power lines and uh, was exposed to lead-based paint as a child. So that explains why you're here? We have to do whatever we have to do to get this lit. Today's weather, not exactly ideal. A total whiteout doesn't help Todd's cause to get to the top of the Penobscot building. And there was already frost and ice at the ladder. But his goal remains the same, to make an iconic building whole once again. I climb the ladder manually with my safety harnesses. I have a double harness, so I'm clipped on at all times. And uh, once I get up to the top, I'll be able to clip off from there. We have a rope that we'll tie our materials on, I pull it up there, and then once I'm up, I'm strapped in and I have to make all my repairs from up top. And Todd's definitely a crazy guy for doing this, but hey, he's really just trying to modernize Detroit and put the flare back in it. Todd's goal was to light it up tonight. Doesn't look like it's going to happen because of the snow, but you better believe when that light starts to blink, we'll be showing you the first pictures. He's brave. You're brave for being up there. <laughs>